Hey guys, welcome to beautiful Kokud, Thailand. We are here on this beautiful beach and I have a yoga for stress relief for you. Now this is an all levels yoga flow that's going to really help you let go of any negative energy, anxiety or stress that you might be feeling. This is a wonderful class to do after work or you can also do this in the morning if you ever feel like you wake up and you're just feeling really anxious and stressed out. We're gonna flow, we're gonna breathe, and we're gonna hold your poses extra long so you really can just focus on the breath. Breathing is really important in letting go of that tense energy. What I want you to do is grab your mat, turn off all distractions around you, and bring yourself to this present moment right now. This is your time to let go of all that no longer serves you and bring in positive and wonderful energy into your body and your mind. So if you guys are ready, Grab your mat, let's do it. All right guys, we're gonna begin today at the very back of your mat. Starting in child's pose, your knees and your feet together, just reaching the arms forward and allow the forehead to drop and release to the mat. Just taking this moment here to bring all of your awareness to this present moment. Inhaling into your nose and gently exhaling out of your mouth. Slowly let's bring the hands behind your back, interlace the fingers and reach the fingers up to the sky. Giving those shoulders a nice stretch here. Try to lift the arms as high as you can. Slowly release and come up to seated, opening the chest, opening the heart. And then very gently, coming back to your child's pose again with the arms reaching up to the sky. And then letting go of the fingers and reach the fingers right back to the front of your mat. Good, and just breathing here, one more deep breath in, and exhale, come on over to your hands and knees position, starting with our cat cow, inhale, arching the back, and then exhale, rounding the spine, tucking the chin right into the chest, inhale, arch the back, exhale, round the spine, inhale, arching the back, Exhale, let it go. Inhale, open, look up. Let it go, exhale, rounding that spine. And then from here, you're transitioning to our puppy pose. Both hands reaching to the front of your mat. Shoulders are square. Hips on top of the knees. And just allow the chest to drop all the way down. A really nice stretch for the upper body, for the chest, for the spine. Hold and breathe. You can keep the forehead grounded on your mat, or for a deeper stretch, try to look up towards the fingers. Good, one more deep breath in. Exhale, shifting your weight to your elbows and coming down with your belly into your baby cobra. Opening the chest here again. Breathe. Just take it easy. Go ahead and lift the hips and return back to your puppy pose. Take your time here. Try to make sure that the hips are right on top of the knees. So that 90 degree bend in the legs. One more deep breath in, long exhale out, come on up to your all fours position. At this time let's tuck the toes and very slowly press into the hands, lift the hips, keep the knees slightly bent at first. We're going to take our downward facing dog. Now because this is our first one, really take your time with this posture. You can walk it out on the spot. To let go of any tension in the hips and the hamstring 
or you can simply hold and breathe. Think about really taking that sternum right down to the mat. Fingers are spread out. Let go of any tension. Let's press the heels down as far as you can. Hold. Staying with your breath. Allowing your mind to stay in this very present moment. Focusing on the inhale and the exhale. Let's slowly round through the spine into your plank position. Inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Hold and exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Again, allow those heels to sink down into the mat. Bending the knees and taking two steps to the very top of the mat. At this time, we're going to take a rag doll. So just grab the opposite elbows, forward fold, and gently move your body side to side. Just be super loose here. Letting go of any tension in the shoulders, in the neck, in the back. Just let yourself sway left and right. And then slowly release the arms, rounding up to your mountain pose. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's do that again. Inhale, reaching the arms up to the sky. Exhale, dive it all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, coming up halfway. And then exhale, bending the right knee, left knee straight. Right palm down on your mat and reach the left arm up to the sky. A twisted forward fold. So we're really focusing on stretching and lengthening out that left hamstring. Twisting from the belly button, trying to keep the hips as square as possible. Hold and breathe. Turning your gaze down, bending both knees and step your right foot to the back of the mat. So same twist, but now we're in a lunge position. Hold and breathe. Reaching the left fingers up to the sky. Just focusing on the inhale and the exhale. Lowering the left arm, lift your front arm forward, taking your high lunge with a twist. Placing the palms of your hands together. Untwist the body and simply reach both arms up to the sky, high lunge. Hips are square, open the chest to the sky. Completely surrendering to this present moment. Letting go. Let's take one more deep breath in and then exhale, drop the back knee to the mat and just stay here in your low lunge. You can slowly release the back toes when you're ready. Really focus on pushing the hips forward so you feel the stretch in the psoas, but at the same time keeping the left knee right above the ankle. Let's release the arms, pushing back to that right knee, extend your left leg, flex the foot and taking your half split posture, just releasing the body over top of the leg. Always thinking about keeping those hips square, so pull the left hip back and push the right hip forward. Okay, let's take one more deep breath in. Slowly exhale all the air out as you allow yourself to go a little deeper. One more inhale at this time, bring yourself right back to that low lunge position, but keep the arms on the mat. Tucking your back toes, lifting the back knee, arms reaching back up into that high lunge, and then you're gonna step that back foot to the very front of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, dive it down. Inhale, halfway, lengthen the spine. Exhale, stepping back into that plank position. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Good, just hold it there. Take a deep breath in. 
Exhale out, bending both knees, stepping forward to the front of your mat. This time we're gonna take that forward fold a little bit further. If you can grab your big toes with two piece fingers, please go ahead and do that. If not, you can grab your ankles or behind the knees. Just hold and breathe here. Forehead reaching for those knees. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Beautiful. Slowly releasing the fingers and rounding yourself up to your standing posture. Inhale, let's reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale again, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, dive it all the way down to your forward fold. Let's repeat our twisted forward fold. This time, your right knee stays straight, left knee bends, left palm of your hand on the ground as the right arm reaches up to the sky. Now we're focusing on lengthening the right hamstring here. Holding and breathing. Imagine like you're trying to touch the ceiling or the sky. Bending both knees and then stepping that left foot to the back of the mat. Holding that twisted high lunge. And now find your balance, find your control here. You're slowly going to allow that right arm to drop as you lift your left hand off the mat, staying that twisted high lunge here. Palms together. Untwist the body back to center. And then reaching both arms up to the sky, allowing yourself to sink low here. Your front knee is directly on top of the ankle, not passing the front toes. Hold, open the chest, open the heart, open yourself to what is. And then release the back knee, holding that posture in a low lunge. Just focusing on the breath, allowing yourself to fully enjoy this moment here. Feeling a nice deep stretch in the psoas muscle. When you're ready, take both arms down. Move yourself back to that left knee, flexing the right foot and taking your half split posture. Keeping the hips square, you're focusing on releasing that forehead down to your knee. And the added flexed front foot is only if you like to have a deeper stretch in the calf. If you feel like this is too much, you can always just keep that foot relaxed for now. And just focusing on the breath here. With each inhale, bringing more oxygen to the muscles, to the tissues of your body. Let's slowly come back to that low lunge. Keep both hands grounded. Tuck your back toes. Lift the back knee. And slowly with control, both arms reach back up into your high lunge. Sink a little lower if you can. Deep breath in. Exhale, big step to the top of the mat. Inhale again. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart again. Third time, we're gonna dive it all the way down. Exhale. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, two steps into your plank position, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful job here, just hold and breathe. Allowing your sternum to fall right down to the mat. Really feel that opening in the upper back. Wonderful, let's reach the right leg up to the sky in a one-legged downward dog position. Bending the right knee. And this time, take that right knee to your right thumb. 
allowing the shin bone to be placed onto the mat. Hips are square, your back leg is right in the middle of the mat, and then you're taking yourself down into the full pigeon pose. Now don't worry if you can't get that front foot parallel to the mat. Start slow. You can keep the heel closer to your hips and then over time work towards pushing it forward little by little. It's all about patience here in this posture. All we want to feel is a nice release of the right glute, letting go of any tension, releasing that area of your body to let go of any tension or stress out of the lower back and the hamstring. Awesome, let's slowly lift the chest up to the sky. Tuck your back toes, push into the hands, and come right back up into your one-legged downward dog. Hold. And then release the right leg, coming into your plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and then downward facing dog. Awesome. We're going to take it to the other side. Left leg reaches up. Bending that left knee. And then take the knee to your thumb. Page in posture. Your right leg is right in the center of your mat. First open the chest. Open the heart. Check in with your posture. And then come on down to your elbows. Feeling that nice stretch in the left glute. And sometimes you may even feel it in the inside of your thigh. Just breathe through it. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Don't force anything or don't judge anything. Just breathe. Stay with yourself with your breath here. And as the body releases, release the mind. Nothing matters except this moment right now right here. Beautiful. Let's come on up slowly. Tuck your back toes. Press the hands into the mat. Lift yourself up into your one-legged downward dog. And then coming through your flow again. So come into your plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Awesome. Hold here for a moment. Breathing into your nose. Exhale. Stepping forward to the front of your mat. And then slowly, we're going to make our way over down to the mat. Come to a seated position with your feet in front. Let's go ahead and reach the arms forward. Round the spine. Use the core strength here. Take it down nice and slow. As you come down, we're going to take our Supta Baddha Konasana posture, soles of your feet together, knees opening out to the side, resting the arms out to the side first, just take a deep breath in, and then exhale, let's get ready to take our three part breath exercise, right hand on your chest, left hand on your belly, you're going to start first by inhaling into your belly, allowing it to rise. And then move that air into your rib cage, into your chest. And then exhale through your chest, your ribs, and then your belly. Again, so you inhale into your belly, ribs, chest. Exhale chest, ribs, and belly. Just following the flow of your breath here. Inhale into your belly ribs, chest, exhale chest, ribs, and belly. Keep going at your own pace here. Focusing on the inhalation and a slow exhalation. Just stay present. Visualizing the oxygen coming through your belly, upward to your chest, and then push it down as you release and relax. Good. And again, deep breath in. Exhale, chest, ribs, and belly. Let's do that again. Inhale, belly. 
ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, and belly. And then from here, slowly releasing the hands out to the side and extending one knee at a time into our corpse pose, our Shavasana. Completely surrendering your body to your mat, to the floor beneath you. Letting go of your body weight and allowing full relaxation to your body and your mind. You are here right now. You're healthy, you're alive, and you're strong. And that's all that matters right now. So just breathe, accept where you are, and let go. Wonderful. Now you can stay here or slowly bring your awareness back to your body. Bend the knees, roll over to your one side. And slowly come back into that seated position on your mat. And taking a deep breath in here as the arms reach up to the sky. Palms together, exhale to your heart. And again, inhale, arms reaching up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Holding those hands there as you take one more deep breath in. And exhale, bowing down to your heart. Thanking yourself for your beautiful practice today. Thank you so much for joining me today on this beautiful island of Kokud. I can't wait to see you again. Namaste.